Luke Hamilton is no stranger to finding messages in bottles, has found two within the last month. But his latest discovery was of particular interest. Sealed in a whiskey bottle, sealed with a cork and screw cap, message was written on shipping slips of cargo ship to which it was sent, and clinging to pages of an old women's magazine. It was 45 years old and in immaculate condition. The bottle has been well preserved after 45 years in the elements. The bottle was launched into the C-30 nautical miles north of Sydney in 1978, the year Mr. Hamilton was born. He believes it has long been buried in the coastal dunes near where he found it in Lake Wallaga, on NSW's far south coast, and was recently unearthed by large ocean waves. Inside the bottle on the container ship ACT-6 were two letters a sailor named Tom. The bottle contained a letter each to Martha Brister and the person who found it. One letter was to finder of the bottle, and other to a 12-year-old girl named Martha Brister. Note said Dear Martha, it's a miracle you're reading this. But this won't be your first bottle of letters. There's so much more in the Central Pacific. Mr. Hamilton gave his father-in-law, a retired sailor, the task of finding Miss Brister. He completed the task promptly and called her to confirm he had found the right person. The letter was written to Martha Brister when she was 12 years old. Mrs. Brister, also known as Married Cave, is now 57 years old and works as a horse trainer at Warwick Farm Racecourse in Sydney. She first met Tom Wah when she was seven or eight years old and living in England. Mr. Wah a New Zealand sailor and was always a few doors away from his family whenever he on land leave. I was walking around on the road and he was sitting there showing me how to tie a knot and tell interesting stories about the sea, Brister said. Martha Brister is now a horse trainer with her husband Paul Cave at Warwick Farm Racecourse. After his family immigrated to Australia in 1976, Mr. Wah began leaving messages for him as he crossed the oceans in cargo ships. It was very special at that age to have someone do their best to do something like this for you, Brister said. He remembers five or six letters returned to him from faraway places around the world. Martha Brister's family immigrated to Australia in 1976. Those who found and returned the messages often included their own letters to Mrs. Brister. I got some from South America, the Philippines, the Solomon Islands, she said. They were really exciting back then. I was just a kid. But this is the first message in nearly 43 years. Tom Wah's message was found on a desolate stretch of beach on Lake Wallaga. Second message in bottle found in a month, as a Landcare Coastal Weed Project Manager, Mr. Hamilton spends a lot of time combing remote beaches on the far south coast. Three weeks before she found her letter to Miss Brister, Naji found another message in a bottle at the Nature Reserve. The message was a foo, 